guys, we need to talk. And it's about Buhan. It is about uh, this man right here, actually. We need to talk about this because I am getting really tired of it even being a question that Boo Tanks is literally probably the second best unit in the game. Second and only to Jiren. This LR is better than the Blue Fusions. And, and, and I want people to accept that. And we're going to go run through Infinite Dragon Ball history and kind of while I'm talking about this, just so you guys can see how ridiculous the Buhan gets. And we'll be talking about a lot of things. But this guy is, is, just, is just, in my opinion, a lot better than the Fusions. I understand if some people are like, oh, well, the Fusions have to build up, Gizmo. If they don't have time to build up, then, uh, you know, uh, they won't be able to do anything. I want to just look at just all aspects. We're going to look at him in the beginning of this event. We're going to look at him team-wise. We're going to look at him in every regard. And I want you guys to note, first of all, that... First of all, this team has 510 health. We are on the Artificial Life Forms team, uh, which is, you know, of course, also can be known as the... Uh, the the uh, Not Artificial Life Forms. The Power, power Absorption team right now. And with a 50% support on rotation, Buhan is rocking 182 defense first turn. Just to put it into perspective, the only person pumping out those kind of numbers first turn is like Jiren. LR Cell can do that, I believe. Uh, there's a few LRs that can do that, but the fact that he's just a solid 185 first turn with a 50% support is just preposterous. It is absolutely in every way preposterous, and no one, he's a 4 million attack stat first turn. 4 million attacks on Buhan, and it's just like. I don't understand how people can even conceivably say, right, that this unit is not just like one of the best units in the game. He just took double digits type disadvantage on infinite Dragon Ball history after doing one ultra super and stacking his defense and attack one time. Even LR Cell is a fucking pimp on this team, dude. Like, it's just so crazy, right? So we're going to rotate off. We'll keep this Buhana rotation. We'll rotate Cell over. And even LR Cell on this team. LR Cell is rocking 150k defense. Like... Absolutely insane. Absolutely goddamn preposterous. For like this team is that good. Like of all the units that have recently come out, right? There's been like a lot of lackluster teams that have come out. They just haven't been that good, right? But then you have this this Majin Power slash Power Absorption leader, right? And everybody's like, oh, it's probably not gonna be that good. You know, the shitty the shitty new categories aren't ever good. Cells here. You got uh, I think baby can be ran on like there's just so many options. Meta cooler somehow can even be ran on this team. Like you just have so many options for people that can be not wait not selling. I'm thinking terrifying conquerors. My bad. But like you got sell. You got all the booze. Majin twenty. Like you have so many options as to what can be ran on this team, and such optimal linking partners that it's ridiculous. It's to the point where literally, if for some odd reason, you know like you have like type advantage with boo like in this case right here this guy's type advantage let's look at his attack stat 50 percent support boo on rotation we're gonna rotate him off four million attack stat on Jarrell. and let's see our actual damage number here like this is the numbers he's putting up first turn we're only on the second phase five million what more do you want the blue fusions aren't putting out these kind of numbers off the bat. I can tell you that right now that the blue love them to death. Favorite cards in the game probably, but the blue fusions are not putting out this kind of this kind of damage. We're gonna not even we're not even gonna transform Buhan yet. We're just gonna flex and just let him absolutely show his ass here. So I'm gonna have Jack Shaw cut out, and we're going to skip ahead, and I'm going to come back when we get to Android 16. So, all right, guys. So we're back. Um, I want to note a few things about this before we even continue here. So we're at 16. I skipped ahead to 16. Look at our health, first of all. We're almost at a doke on attack. Look at our health right now. So our health is still 510. We are at the max health. We have not lost health. And what's funny is that we actually took like a few hundred K in damage, but these absolute just crackheads healed all of it right back up. Like these units are ridiculous. Like let's look at the defense right now. Boo is at 428K defense. Prime Battle LR Cell is at 107, dude, oh my, like, I got a Prime Battle LR that's type disadvantage half the time taking double digits, dude, like, uh, these, you, like, what more, we're gonna go ahead and transform Buhan here, bro, let's just do it, 400k defense, like, you can't get any better than that, let's do it, look, look at this active skill, look at this, bro, like, beyond just, like, being, like, 
a really hard-hitting unit and probably, like I said, one of the best in the game. And this, you can count this as my Buhan showcase. It's not so much a showcase as it is just me sucking Buhan off aggressively. aggressively. But, like, dude, like, this man gets an Ultra Super off the bat in AP. Like, dude, seriously, like, this is just insane. This is just absolutely preposterous for this to even be called a game anymore with Buhan in the game. Buhan's getting a dull kind of attack. Like, dude, like, like, the numbers that Buhan can put out are so ridiculous because he's got great links. I mean, Big Bad Bosses, he got Metamorphosis. Uh, I want to say he has Nightmare. Uh, he may have the wall standing tall, I can't remember. But, like, the, the just the absolute just godliness of the links that he has just makes him such a viable option. The man stacks attack and defense repeatedly when he ultra supers and also still does it after transform. And then he just puts out, and look at these super animations, man. Like, he does this. While just putting out these monstrous attack stats, like six million, six million damage. We have not used an item yet, by the way. These are two items. These are the four items we had. We have not used an item. We haven't had to use an item because just like, like Boo is literally just stomping on this event's head right now. Like literally just taking this event and shitting on it. Might I add that he gets double key on normal orbs, not rainbow. Rainbow gives him one key, but regular orbs give him literally two spears instead of one so if you get his same type of orbs he's basically gonna get double which is four which is just like i love that they've given a lot of uh of lrs that effect lately and it's just such cool because it makes it makes buhan like a non-key hungry alternative to a lot of different units and even this team like this team has some solid options you got prime battle lr cell who's actually pretty good when linked with other cell healing you for 15 percent hp per 12 key super you got lr incel who's just you know taking no damage on normals and even minimal damage on supers as well like you just you can't get any better than that like 47k and we're this far into the event is ridiculous 47k type advantage of course but like 47k when i got other you know tech units that would have taken like 100k easy you know it's just it's insane with the edit like and then he has the 30 percent chance to additional like what more do you want like this is that part where like dokkan went into that meta of like releasing these cards that stack defense that get crazy over time and then now you skip you know fast forward to like these units who just absolutely just are ridiculous right so my rotation of choice and i should have been saying this earlier instead of just just absolutely just slobbing all over this this new boo card man is um I keep it Buhan with him. Like the team that I'm running right now is a team that most people have. Like you can't tell me that you don't have this team. Because this is probably gonna be a fat KO for Cell here, regardless of what he does. This team is something 5.1 million. No items. Dude, like Dude. Dude. Oh man, dude. That's just unfair, man. That's just ridiculous. Like, this team that I'm using right now, even, is something that people have. Like, people are going to have this team. Like, look at this team. Phys physical 50% support, 50% uh, support booth at Easy Aid. Everyone's going to have that. You got you got Int LR Cell. Most people have at least a copy of that. LR Prime Battle Cell, you can grind and get a copy of. Even if you didn't have Boo, you can bring a friend Boo to get the same effect. Everybody. I mean, literally everybody has Int Buhan. And then literally everybody has the Extreme STR you know like super boo that transforms into different boos like it's a it's a team that literally everyone has like no one doesn't have those cards and it's funny because it's just like no one doesn't have those like none of those cards other than like maybe boo and i can understand if you didn't pull boo because it took me on my personal we're not even using the test server this is just a straight up 55 percent boo that i brought um on my end and like i spent like 300 bucks and got one copy of boo didn't get a vegeto didn't get anything else i got other units but for all my money that I spent, I got one copy of Buhan. And I'm not complaining, because even at one copy, even at 55%, like the Buhan just performs. But like, look at all the other just ridiculous units on the team. You got LR Prime Battle Cell, who gets guaranteed crits, you know, when the enemy's attack is lower. You just, you got like, you just have so much going on that it's just very hard to believe that this team's fair. Like, look at the health we just lost, right? We immediately got that health back. If you actually pause the video and go back, we just lost a chunk of health, and we just got all that health back immediately. And then even if we didn't, Boo literally gets health per orb anyway. Buhan, which is our, the uh, the Int Buhan gets health per orb. So, like, we literally just don't die. This team is defensively solid in addition to even if you're not defensively solid, you just don't die because, like, then you got Buhan lowering attack. 
You got STR super boot lowering attack. You got half this fucking team, including LR Prime Battle Cell, lowering attack. So if you're in an event like Super Battle Road, like 5.4 million. Like if you're in an event like Super Battle Road or something like that, you just can't lose, dude. Like you, you, like as long as you get the, you, as long as you get enough attack lowers going, you just cannot lose in, in an event like that. You're just 3.2 million on my super boot. That's mine. He's SA12, by the way. No link, barely any links. One million, like it's crazy. So I, where are we at right now? So uh, we are currently on fifth. So we're actually about to finish this up in just a second here. So I'm sorry if it's taking a really long time. So this is the this is the pickle win right now. So he's locking our rotations, which isn't too bad. Um, that leaves him at the end there, and he can heal some health up for us there. Um, I don't want SDR Super Bowl on rotation, uh, but I will keep him there just to have him, and we will get these orbs for him. Cell won't get a super, but he only has to take one attack. And STR Super Boost shouldn't be getting hit super hard. He probably will, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just do as much damage to Cell as we can. Yeah, like uh, Prime Battle or uh, Int Cell just took literally double digits, dude. That's that's amazing. 1.4 million by the STR Super Boost. He got a lot better after that link update, honestly. And I mean, Buhan's like his strongest form. So, like, it's not at all surprising that Buhan is showing his ass with the link update the way it is. So, we'll see how much this does. I'm expecting around 100k, maybe like 50k actually. Yeah, 57k. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at calculating those. I'm, really, I'm getting really good at calculating that those, those numbers. numbers. So we couldn't get a million attacks that unfortunately because we couldn't get cell next to cell, but that's okay. Um, that's fine. It happens. Um, and we did lower cells attack. The one thing I do like about this is that you can lower attack. We get an additional 15% health back. So that 57k that we lost, boom, put that back in our pocket right there. Back up to full health, and then you got cell taking double digits. Like this is a free to play LR, by the way. Like this team is just insane. Like power absorption, dude. Is just such a whack fucking team. Like, I know it's not even me saying whack as in me complaining about it, but it's such a fucking whack fucking team that it's just ridiculous. Like, this team doesn't die to anything. It doesn't die. The team literally just does not fucking die. Like, four million on a 12 key for Buhan here. Four fucking million on a 12 key super attack right now, dude. With an additional, additional for four hundred thousand, like no crits, no crits here, and no crits. He's not effective against all types. He's literally just doing all this with fucking raw damage. What's this? He's at four hundred k defense, right? Like double digits, double fucking triple digits, one twenty, bro. Like two two point two million attacks on this Buhan, dude. Like it's insane. Any lowered attack even more, double digits. Have not touched an item yet, by the way. Like this team is just insane. Like this is what I wanted from Dokkan. Like they took it. They took. They basically looked at what Dokkan had, perspectively speaking, right? And they're like, okay, like, what can we do? What can we work with with what we have? And they actually made a team that's actually a functional, working team that isn't too hard to make. Once again, the, the components for this team, as you guys saw, weren't very hard to get. Like, you have most of these units, and they're older units that are just not really good because of the link update. But they took what they had. They perspectively just made this really, really solid team out of what they had, and it's just... It's nice. This is what you want from a team. You don't want special pose. You don't want rapid growth. You want something like this that just makes sense and actually works out. Now, the only issues I have with the power absorption team is that there's a few, a few things on the power absorption team that aren't there that should be there. Um, for example, there is like a uh, EZA Tech Cell, one of my favorite cells other than LR Cell. For some reason, isn't on power absorption, even though he did absorb 17 and 18. And, and for the life of me, I just don't get it. Um, because he's literally the same thing as other cell, the LR cell, other than being not being super perfect, you know what I mean? So it, it's it's interesting, but so luckily he did lock a certain spot, but it wasn't a spot that's gonna fuck us here. We still can keep Buhan on rotation, which is great. And then uh, cell, we'll try to rotate back around with other cell, but character locking has just made that really hard. It doesn't matter. It's actually gonna be better uh, for uh, Buhan to be next to cell, so they can both activate big bad bosses. Because if I'm not wrong, I don't think that the uh, does Prime Battle Cell have big bad bosses? I'll look after this. I don't think Prime Battle Cell has big bad bosses. If he does, that's great. But I, I uh, actually, you know, he does have big bad bosses because uh, that's why Prime Battle Cell, for most of this event, if you notice, has been taking double digits. He actually, I think he does have big bad bosses. I'd have to look to be sure, but either way, I think uh, that Cell or Cell is out of here. Yeah, one, one, one million attacks on Prime Battle Cell. Keep in mind, this is an LR that most people wouldn't even dare use in an event like this. Like, guaranteed crits on lowered attack. You gotta love the guy, dude. You gotta love the guy. You gotta love the guy, dude. You, you just gotta love the guy, man. 
All right. So this cell can still. Okay. So he see he just locked our rotation. He just took our blue hunt off rotation. That's not good. Um, that's okay. That is okay. We're not gonna get mad about that uh, because we still got a lot of good stuff going for us here. We missed an 18 key barely. That's okay. And he's rotating off my shitty. Uh, he's rotating off my uh, my shitty. Um, what am I saying? My shitty boo. My boo. So I'm not worried about it as long as the friend doesn't get rotated off. That's the most annoying part of this is that Cell does lock characters. Um, but I mean, like, even in an event where you're locking characters, they're healing so much that it just doesn't matter, dude. It just doesn't matter. Like, 10,000 damage, dude. Like, solid team. Like, defensively solid. It heals itself. Buhan exists. Like, it's such a solid team. It is such a solid team. I think I'm going to keep going until KO, just so you guys get the satisfaction of watching Buhan just absolutely clobber this guy. But, like, it's just, like... It's insane. This unit is fucking insane. Like, I... Like two million, a two million attack stat on a twelve key on a fifty-five percent unit that's only super attack twelve. Fucking insane. Okay, so he did rotate off our Buhan. Wow, this guy is really trying to kill us, dude. That's so. He's actually trying to rotate all our units off and just kill us, huh? Yeah. So this is unfortunately unlucky. So it does seem to be trying very hard to kill us here. Uh, he really wants us dead because he keeps rotating all of our units off. Um, and we'll see how this goes. If we get supered on the wrong unit, we could die here. But wasn't Buhan? I think Tech Buhan was, or not Tech, Int Buhan was on this rotation. Okay, heals. That's fine. That's fine. Double digits after the super. That's dope. Uh, we're going to lower ourselves attack here because luckily we still can lower attack here. One million solid. Additional for another, like, dude, like, this team, man. Fucking insane. And then Buhan is going to come in and just kind of sweep him away with this, uh, Look, 5 million attack stat. Cell fucked up our rotations and we still have a 5 million attack stat. Like, look at this, dude. Not even type advantage, by the way. 1.7 million. Easy. 400k. Easy. Super me. Do it. Double digits. Like, it's just... It's fucking crazy, man. So, of course, he locks Cell in the back. He, like, he, this guy really wants us to die, dude. He locks Cell in the back slot just so we can't even super him, and we're still going to get an 18 key off on him. This guy is garbage, man. His attack's been lowered so much that I think even if he supered, like, Prime Battle Cell, he'd only the only way he can kill us is if he supered Kid Boo. That is the only way that I can see him killing us here. Because he's doing double digits to Prime Battle Cell. He would have to super Kid Boo here, and even if he supered Kid Boo, I don't see him killing us here. He'd have to hit us for, like, a number that's just, like, preposterous. Kid boost taking double digits, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is KO, man. GG, so. G fucking G, man. That, that's 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 insane. Team's insane. Absolutely insane team. Like this, like it's just so crazy, dude. Like we didn't even get time for the second dough kind of attack. We just finished that on the titty hair of a second dough kind of attack. Like yeah. LR Buhan is the best unit in the game. Don't don't ever question that again. Don't I don't want anyone ever questioning that again and pretending that that's okay. I just broke my record on this no item, and I did this earlier to test and see if I could do it. I did it no item, and I just broke my record again on camera. Buhan is the best unit in the game on global right now. The only person I'd put above him, and this is me needing to do a little bit more research, would probably be Jiren is number one, and Buhan is number two. But like, you can't tell me that Vegito, the new Vegito, comes anywhere close to this Buhan. End of story, man. But anyway, guys, if you like videos like this and you want to see a showcase for the new Vegito, then please leave me a like and a comment on the video. As always, guys, this has been Gizmomek, and I'll see you in the other world. Bye, guys.